think it's a bad idea to just start hitting the door. And let's get a heal going on here. Because it's not like there's any other spots necessarily that I have to be. If I just trigger the pods and they just start running over to us, I'm fine with that either way. Speed defense to what HP? I mean, I'll take it for Fram. Four, four stats is a lot better than what I've been getting recently anyway. I can honestly just have Louie take all the attention and then we just go on from there. Coat the wall too, and then I'll figure what I want to do next on my next turn. Honestly, what I kind of want to do is just bust down both walls and then see where the enemies funnel. That way, I will have two. And there are two ways to look at the pods going in, and if they trigger or not by just breaking the walls. Because I'm assuming that if they go through the front door with me here, well, Wooby's about to take all the damage, just face tanking it without a problem. Boosh, Etienne, and Co. will be right next to us to support. And then we'll just figure out my strategy on the fly from here. Preemptively move Koei way back in case they can start just add going. One man will. <laughs> You may have an axe, but that's what I have a silver lance, and you can't break Louie. Okay, you will chain attack him. Oh, no. But yeah, that's another way to counter the armored units, is that you can't, like, uh, uh, chain attacks don't care about whatever defense you might have. They will just go through that defense and just always deal the 2, 3, 4 chip damage. So you always just have to worry about it and, you know, deal with it one way or another. All right. Get the skill. Let me have it. Well, we see great defenses after breaking you is great as well. My resolve is unchanged. I will kill the armored unit here with Eta. Not Eta, Saline. Eta will kill the mage rather. I will not forget your loss. Right the base, which is pretty nice too. I can just give that to Louis straight up. Can the boost kill the mage? With the silver axe potentially. I have an 86% chance. That's pretty good. Chance. Thank I you, Boosh. Lovely to see. I want Etia to get a kill. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm still quite capable. Because then the next play is to have Louie move back so I can heal him. Louie moves back, and then we can also just hold a choke point wherever these guys come to. I feel wonderful. They don't want to support us too much here, but wherever, those, wherever this cavalry goes, fact is, I need to get to Vander and Huawei back because every unit shouldn't matter here. I'm assuming they might funnel through the front, to which case, we can hold them to a line. Yeah, they're funneling through to the front, so in that case then... Fall back! Fall back to the defensive line! Have Saline to heal, What a joyous feeling! This is the idea. I'll have Etia stand right next to me. Give Etia a little bit more avoid potentially. I wanted to get all the benefits from standing next to me for the plus three minus one. A plus three damage done and uh, minus one damage taken. And Louis. Understood. Otherwise, I could also just have him straight up stand here with the javelin, and then we just see what fits as well. It might be an idea. I think I'd want to drag people a little further back. And then I'll make my strategy on here. Because we are still pretty separated. Brand, you can just stay here. 
Magic goes through the wall, but how does no arrow go through the wall? We're aiming above the wall! Or it could just be really good holes. Oh, the mini bow only has one range. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. They can't even def They can't even damage the Wii. It's 18 attack versus 19 defense, so they're not even doing an attack. But yeah, I gave Etienne the mini bow, which is It's just range. a scratch. So she didn't get to attack that, and I am a fool. Absolute fool. I should have just given her the iron bow. That way she can kill this man on the on the clap batch. All right. My own fault. Nothing more to say right there. Let's, let's fix this then. But now, the boosh! Seventy-one chance to break. I like the idea. They're also just hand bats, and then I have chain attacks afterwards. Yeah. It's ten less damage, but I don't want to risk the seventy-one to mess up my entire game plan from this point. My will is firm. FTA, if you can steal bow this man here, knock him down a few pegs. Let me help. Lovely. Saline, would you be able to kill this man? Not really, no. But if I engage, not really, no. These archers are without a doubt a problem, but the Wooey game could just absolutely come in and just say, screw you. Might as well just hit you with the silver. <laughs> so I think the idea that I'm trying to do here, if I can have Chloe, it is a Pedge attacking an Archer, but that's a 96% chance to hit, and you're attacking first. So unless I miss a 96% chance, then we're fine. That means I have one extra unit for action economy, HP and speed. Another two level. I hate everything in the world. I very much so do hate everything in the world still. If I move myself up next, the Silver Sword will kill, and then I have Divinely Inspiring for Clan. Need some help? Dream well. Five stats! The magic's kind of useless, but hey, I will take that after Chloe's bad level. I keep jiggling the cord. I want to feed this kill to Clan if I can. If I can. <laughs> that feels way better. Yeah, and we should be able to, because. Let me help! Not enough. Any less, I got a 2 crit, we're fine. Clan can get a little bit more SP from this kill, potentially. I'll take this! Or I might be your newest fan! Everything, but, eh, it's fine. And Alfred can just start bullying yet another archer. This is hilarious, dude. Yeah, what? Look, award getting the levels, I am fine with. Uh, or getting good levels, I am very fine with. Pretty effective turns all around here. Let's say if I get 1% crit, then it's gonna, it's gonna be pain upon this earth, which I'm going to bring. Alright, boosh! Boosh, 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 boosh! Boosh! <laughs> Is it over? Getting these silver weapons from the DLC pack is absolutely cheating, but I don't care. I'm having fun. Thank you. Thank you for the heal. Whatever you say. And I have everybody's emblem status already prepared, basically here. I'm just clicking this protect crazy. That way, I can just auto move everybody, basically here. To get the rest of the emblem energy. Everybody almost gets to move up just about. One more tap for Louis. Why, thank you. And then it's the next pod of enemies to take care of. Next pod will be 
sword boys. Well then fine with this. In that case then. Alfred can destroy the charge right next to the weir. Let's take an iron lance to start. Self-improvement's actually gonna boost your strength a little bit more. Ooh, lovely. And then everybody else, yep, just keep on keeping on. Not necessarily in the best way to trigger it, but I'm not getting too much. Alright, Alfred. Give me some hope here. HP in the- I mean, it's fine. Those are essential stats always, but come on! Come on! I need a lot more to work with here, people. Like, a lot more to work with here. Alright, claim your prize, FTA. Take this one. This is this is paying you bad for a the mini bow. I can still uh, do more. Thinking it would just be a slim bow, not a mini bow. Strength, death, speed. I'm fine with that for your level. All right, that is much better. I mean, I get the key to go. Next up, then, have we prepared to tank anything next? Break this man. Break him completely. I mean, I did have a little trigger all three. I'll just have him take the one. Take the one. Boost is still only level five, so I want to feed him a little bit more. Yeah. I hope you find peace. Have plan go in? Yes, you are only martial arts, but I still just do want to hit you. Graham, you are going to heal out Al Alfred for a little bit of chip in his Yeah! Hey, okay, thanks! And then next idea. Vander. Bully this poor girl. Bully, bully, bully. Bullying. <laughs> bullying complete. Bullying commenced. Bullying complete. I kill you here. Bully gets the kill on the soldier. This is what I tried to say. Another successful pod taken care of then. Lovely. Let me help. You're like a storybook hero. And Wooey is just ready to trigger the boss. Those shiny rings of yours are gonna be mine, mine, mine! Reward, here I come! I should have. <laughs> that hand out is hurting. This one's a tough opponent. He can keep on fighting even after taking a fatal blow. Exactly so. It's teaching us the mechanic of revival stones, meaning that he has basically two health bars, so instead of 39 health, he has a total of 78, basically. This man can take a hit from the douche. But we're still going! What the heck? Because I need to immediately get my damage going on. Whatever you require. I, I need to get my uh, chain attack damage going as soon as possible. Next up then, how much does the warp route not potentially do? You'd take 28 straight up. I want to save that for the second health bar. That would not help is rough. Yeah, it kind of is. But we should be fine because I'm just going to take care my of everybody else in my turn stop. here. Old Star Rush kills one calf. I can't reach the other one yet. A little unfortunate, but it's fine. Because all that I really need here is I still just, I just need to kill this man twice over, right? Raging ain't going to change my metric too much here. If I stay next to Cruzy, though, do I get a little bit extra damage from the jab one? Uh, not as much as I'd like. 
better idea might be Uber Eye, that way I can guaranteed hit for 14 without taking hit bad. I think that's what I'll do. Here I I'm playing this turn very loosely, but you know, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Of course so. Wow, I'm actually one damage off. That is very annoying. Spander would deal three that would kill. If I stand here, I am still one damage off of the way. Wow, this is absolutely annoying. Like, undoubtedly absolutely annoying. If I can't out just a little bit closer, I could have just taken an Iron Lance from Vander. Alright, from Ruby. would be fine. Unless that's the idea. What if we do a swap play? What if I swap the Iron Lance to Vander? I can just attack here like this. No problem. I don't care about killing this guy, I just go about killing the loose. Because then the idea is trade with Thander, get me that Iron Lance. Oh, you already have an Iron Lance. I thought you didn't have an Iron Lance. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. Well, I might just replay this turn and all. Let me help! Because this is not exactly how I want things to go. But I should still have a Calculus enough to kill. They have two mages that can, yeah, that'll absolutely see this man's health part. I'll take this! This boost gets a chain attack. Well, he gets the credit. Fine enough. Revival stone popped. Do I even need Warp Ragnarok? I will, because I actually need to go up and do damage to him. Chain attack is huge. Look at all the damage that boosts. Need some health. <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't realize he's going to view 21 damage. That's my bad. So let's turn it back. Let's redo my turn, because I, since I've been one damage off, if I positioned O'Lear better, I think a Death Creature would have had something more. Either that, or I just position Wooey so he can take a little bit more then. Let's rewind it back, just because I want to play this turn out a little bit better overall. But then it's casual, I'm not going to sweat using the turn rule, be try hard about it. I'm sorry. Kill Chloe. We'll yeah, since I'm this. just fine by the seat of my pants and how I'm playing, I'm not gonna mind being one or two off, you know? Your orders, please. Maybe if I just do, you know, I get these codes properly and then start going on and then actually decide how things go. Yeah, no, I just wasn't watching what I said. I wasn't paying too much attention for my own volition. So I'm not gonna mind it. Here! Just check in before you crack out tonight. Over? Yeah, take it easy, Kappa, and enjoy your night now, lovely. I'll take this! Uh, uh, you are doing good fight. damage for us. I do think I probably want to drop him later on for when we do get to Citrine, is my thoughts. I'm back in action! Yeah, take it easy, Kappa. We'll just chill on this note. Oh, you're still moving up anyway. Is retreat a good idea then? Unironically, how much movement do you have for? Because if we retreat, I could maybe line you up better? Potentially. I, I need a turn to get everybody into position, basically, here. So let's try this instead. Let's try this instead. You move five. I don't care about you moving five. I just care about Nolu's moving four. One, two, three, four. Anybody within these circles could be targeted and or hit. You don't have Matt's help for chain guard. For no you, problem there. anything. What that I'm really looking to do is the javelin. And you can hold on to the hand ads. Otherwise, I'm going to take one, one no. person of damage. Yeah, I'm going to break. Ah, uh, hand ads. Hand ads, hand ads, hand ads. Problem, problem. All right, no big deal. Is this... No. 
Like I said, we're playing bad. I'm experimenting a little bit here. Let's play the turn bad. Let's play the turn bad. Do I enemy phase or not? Nah. Nah, potentially here. I need to kill the other guy too, potentially. Let's do something like this. Let's fall back to a corner like this or so. Both the cows can't attack from the strange. I think I had to have boost fall that far back, considering how I really did measure out their attack range. That's early on, like I said. Not gonna sweat it. Double. I should know Jowling is going to be doubling, so that's totally fine for me. Yep, we just took the brunt of everything, that's totally fine then. I'm still quite capable. Then that means I can override with the Rider's Bane, kill one of you immediately here. One strike with the sun here! More than fine. Absolutely wonderful to see. Uh, will we move? Uh, well, we can actually stay here, rather. If Etia can get a kill, I would love that. But she's just gonna have to just deal with Chip for now, unless she gets a crit. I will kill them in this case. Dream well. Thank you. And I just got a two round noise. If the boosh moves up, I can get my chain attack. The boosh moves. Good kill, once again, because I'm not doing enough damage to play it. That would be 14 I'm dealing. If I if I warp Radnorant, that is going to be unblockable. I pull 28, so I need to save Celine for really just my new turn. Better get you down to 8. So, 5 damage. Need some help? 15 over to Vander, you really don't care too much. We are totally fine on that metric. Alfred can get a kill. Or I can get the first jump you kill. Oh! I'll take this! Why just go at it that he gets to take at the first one I train the loose? Then we have Saline Warp Radnorok on this man. Get down to 11. Look! I am. Grant me strength. I strike through. And then I get to feed it to whoever I want. Almost. Great. Gonna be one day off from Koei killing. That is so annoying. My hand's really just gonna take this, huh? Unless <laughs> coming in from the corner! Nah, not really. Alrighty, in that case then, just go go away for a little bit. I want to get her a little bit of a big help. And we're just gonna chill. I guess Clan really is getting the kill then, huh? I don't have any other good way, so unless I get a 3% crit. Need some help? <laughs> nah, Koe wasn't hungry enough for it. Ah, fine enough. I guess, Clan, you are still staying with us a little bit while longer. So this is revenge for the first turn where I had to use him. By that, I mean boost damage. 
I better get out of here. All right, fair enough, fair enough. A little bit more, but we got through it. Boss is moving and engage is so much scarier than previous Fire Emblems anyway. <laughs> Oh, jeez, that took a little bit longer than I wanted, but like I said, I'm playing fast and loose. No problems there, that's a Seraph Robe for the future. I'll probably give that to the Boosh, actually, then. Just 30 health, but he's always just going to have to go in Alfred, first anyway means I need to give him a little bit more. That boss is actually scary. It is a little bit scary with the, like, with how, once again, engaged bosses are actually, or engaged maps, enemies are pretty well designed, just... Having a boss that moves with the hand axe absolutely can throw you in for a loop, especially since he can follow up, because he is considered a backup unit as well. So that's how I died, go away, and of course like, he's still doing decent amount of damage too. Yeah, good damage to range and two health bars means that you can't just bum rush with the rapier and just yeah, let me just use my Marth and load star rush. That's only half the battle. I still have to deal with anything else that might come my way, right? Alright, we will just go to the world map for now, and then I'll end stream off on that note. Pretty successful start to engage again, but of course things will only get harder and harder as hey things there. go on. You're the divine. It's just we're gonna get our clothier and our smithy <laughs> from that. And Norse is going to get bodied off screen, but don't mind that at all. Right? Right. I was expecting That's it, I'm not minding the story too much just because I played. But if you wanna see it, watch the cutscenes I don't want or watch another playthrough. <laughs> All right, that'll be to our Paralons too. Wonderful. And for now, wherever you are, wherever you may be, whether on Twitch or YouTube or more, it's been your wonderful and made your cruise ship server and Sharkers Proxy ever and always at your service. Thank you all for coming back to my first engaged stream back. Thank you for chilling out the entire time, Crimson 2. Hope you learned a little bit from my own strategy. My own throwing bodies and seeing what works kind of strategy, I'll be honest with you there. But also getting to have a little bit fun with trading fire and trivia. I will probably not be back tomorrow because I have a 3 to 9 shift. And then I'll see probably my next best day would be Tuesday to stream next week. But I have my dental appointment for my root canal. So I'll see how I'm feeling then, everybody. But at least for now, at, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening, or night, have yourself a wonderful night, at least from my side of the world. And once again, thank you all for coming on by. 